judges in All right, Jose, um, Jose Benavidez, Jr., first decision. when I ask you, um, what did you think about your son's performance Michael. just in there? That was, uh, you know, we got the win. I was uh, satisfied. I think he could do better. You know, we've been getting uh, back in track. Um, the good thing is that he won, you know. So we were ready for another uh, fight. And uh, I'm just blessed, man, to be here and, and be working with them in the corner, man. It's, it's something that I can't thank God enough for, for just being with them in the corner. Is 160 where you want to see Jose Benavidez said, Jr. campaign at? He, he said uh, he felt really good at 160, but we can do 160, 154. You know, we're trying to look for a big opportunity, but we know we got to make our way up and, and keep working. Um, he's very uh, disciplined now. You know, he's very focused. Uh, he has two uh, daughters now, uh, once a year and a half, and the other one's like uh, almost three. So I think uh, finally, finally he's uh, maturing and uh, and now he's been uh, more and more, uh, more disciplined. Would, would love to get your thoughts, man. I know you saw it when um, Caleb Plant ended up slapping Jamal Charlo, man. What was your whole thoughts when you saw that, man? Well, you know, these guys, man, I always talking shit, man, you know. Uh, at one time, he was talking shit at me, you know. I have nothing bad to say about him. You know, as, a, as a matter of fact, I think they're good fighters. Uh, I'm a... I'm a also, uh, I'm entertained by their performance, you know. I'm a fan, but they're always talking a lot of shit, and they got what they deserve, you know. Uh, one time I was gonna try to slap them too, you know, but like I said, they're good fighters, great, but they're always making trouble, man. And thank God, you know, uh, Caleb Plant put them in their place. What do you think about the whole, you know, your son seems like he's about to fight Andre on paper. Do you think that's gonna be a more difficult fight than Caleb Plant? Everybody wants to fight David Benavides in uh, social media, but when it comes down to finding the paper, nobody steps in. Uh, like David Morrell, he was saying a lot of shit, he wanna fight David. Uh, the managers, and, and they never came out with no contract or nothing, you know? Uh, Mungia also, we were negotiating with the fight, and they wanted 50-50, uh, we gave them 50-50 of the pay-per-views, and then they decided not to do it. Uh, we're negotiating now, now with uh, Boo Boo, and I hope that Boo Boo takes that fight. That would be a great fight. That's a fight that Boo Boo needs, we need, you know, in order to go to the uh, bigger fight. Do you think that's a more difficult fight than Caleb Plant for your son? Of course, uh, he's undefeated, you know, he's never been beat, you know, Boo Boo is a great fighter, he's a very sick fighter. There's a reason uh, why Charles didn't want to fight him, and Canelo didn't want to fight him, uh, but we're willing to uh, uh, fight him. would love to get your thoughts on the whole Terrence Crawford versus Harold Spence. That was supposed to be like a 50-50 fight, and then outside of the first round, it was just like one-way traffic, all Crawford, man. And what was your thoughts on yeah, that? In my opinion, I always thought that uh, Earl Spence is not the same after that accident that he had. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, I never bet, but this was the first time that I bet money. I bet on uh, Ben Crawford. Uh, he making some money, so uh, he looked spectacular. He looked like a superstar, like what he is, you know? Now for found one of the best, and uh, I think he has... Bigger fights, I think we want to see him with whoever, you know, and I think he's going to make great fights.